Maryland lifted its stay-at-home order on Friday, May 15th at 5 p.m., and on the Saturday following that, I decided to go down to the beach because normally it would be car show weekend, and I pretty much live for the car shows in OC. So I thought maybe some people would still be riding around out there, um, and it's a good way to get out, and I didn't plan to be near anyone. So this is a little bit of video from Matt taking T2 down there, my first time trying to ride around the beach with the kind of more full-on hyper race setup. Six CC. Thank you. temperature is about 250 to 260 Fahrenheit and I know I need to pull over.
By the time I shut it down, the temperature was over 280 degrees. I felt the coolant hoses, and the one coming from the radiator was only warm, but the one connected to the engine was very hot, so I knew immediately that I had a water pump problem because water wasn't circulating. I took my helmet off and stopped filming at that point, but I'll use this water pump to show you what I found. Once I got it off of the engine, I saw that the drive wheel was still there, and the circlip was still in place, but when I spun the drive wheel, it would spin freely, it wasn't spinning the water pump. And then I found that the pin that connects the water pump's impeller shaft to this drive wheel was lying inside the engine. Luckily it didn't get lost. It was lying in there. Now, this looks easy enough to take a snap ring off when you've got a set of snap ring pliers. But in a parking lot um, with very minimal tools, I think I spent quite a while on that um, just to get that snap ring off, eventually using two small screwdrivers and popping it off and then once I got the drive wheel off I could put the pin back through the shaft just like this and the drive wheel would actually pop back in place and it was fairly secure so then if I could just get this clip back in place I would probably be able to continue riding but on my second try trying to get this in place with a screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers the clip shot off somewhere and I never did figure out where I think I spent probably 15 or 20 minutes um, looking all under the scooter, all around the scooter, walking around the area, and never did find it. And if you've ever worked with these small clips, you know when they shoot off, they can go anywhere. So I couldn't find that at all. And then I was basically left with the options of trying to find some way to secure this drive wheel so that it wouldn't slip out and let that pin fly out again. Or I was going to have to get a cab or walk back to the truck, which was 105 streets away, I think it was. Um, so I decided to try and figure out if I could find any way with what I had on me to get the drive wheel secured enough that it would stay in place just to get back across town. I had mechanics wire in my toolkit, so this is what I did. I took the mechanics wire and I wrapped it around the impeller shaft underneath of the drive pin. And then I came up through all three of the unused holes in the drive wheel and twisted the ends together with a pair of pliers. It did break when I was trying to twist it together because this wire is apparently too brittle for that to put too much tension on there. But you can see it did hold together where it broke and then I just kind of uh, clamped it together, crimped it a bit. Um, just with the idea of that being to keep the drive wheel against the uh, pin well enough that it couldn't just come off and lose its drive. And I figured I could probably just baby the scooter across town and get back to the truck I would rather ride around more, but at least if I could get that far across town, then that would save me from having to walk or call a cab or something like that to go back to the truck. have some intermittent cooling issues but you can see I even gave up on being gentle on the scooter and just rode it how I wanted to and I still made it back to the truck so at least it worked that long but when I just took this apart now to show you I realized that this popped right off um, when I took it apart the drive wheel was actually still just attached here to the rotor um, and the pin is totally missing but again it got the job done and I got home <laughs> 